Welcome to Disturbing Creation. And we're here today to teach you about a new skill. I'm gonna be doing basic mechanic skills, intermediate mechanic skills, and even expert mechanic skills. Depending on your level, I've got a playlist for each. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to Disturbing Creations and today I'm going to show you the basic class of how to change a tire. Yes, how to change a tire. Not everybody knows this and some people are young and driving for the first time so they need to know how to do this so they're not stuck. Not everybody has AAA, so let's get down to the basics. First of all, <clears throat> this is the tire that I'm going to take off because um, it's my summer tire and I want to put my winter tires back on. So what I'm gonna have to do is, there's nuts in here that hold the tire on. You can see what one looks like here on my spacer, but I'm gonna take the spacers off as well. So let's go over the basic tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some kind of wrench or breaker bar. I prefer a half inch breaker bar. The proper socket, maybe with extension to get in. This is a flip socket. So I have to use the extension to lock it in. Then what this, what you'll do is you'll put this in here till it locks and then you turn it lefty loosey to pull this off and you'll go around each one. And then this is how you put them on also, but there's a special way to put them on. So when we fast forward, we will get to that. Next tool you're gonna need is a key lock. This is a special lock that goes on your tire, one lug nut, not all five. Some people put this on all five and then when you screw one up, you have to rip all the other ones off. That's a big no-no. You only need one. So this will go on one of the lug nuts that's special. And then the tool will go on top of it and it all links together. See how it goes in there? Now you're gonna need some kind of a jack to get under the car to lift the vehicle up. And I always use a jack stand, even on a quick job, because if your jack ever gives out and this hits the ground, you could be severely damaged. You. Yeah, I'm worried about you and your health. Or your vehicle can be severely damaged and we don't wanna do that. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you how to take one of these nuts off with this and then I'm going to show you what this is. This also works to take lug nuts off. If you want we can take one off right now. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to lock the nut on. So now it's on. Make sure it's on reverse and then pull it right out. And that's what the lug nut looks like. Make sure you see that there's a flat end and a tapered end. Now I know some people are going to think that the flat end goes against it to lock it on, but that's not true. The taper end, you see how it's kind of shiny on the taper? That's because when you lock it in and give it a little snug, it squeezes that inside the metal. So make sure you put your lug nuts on correctly this way so they don't back off. And I would never put anti-seize on these, on the threads, to make sure they don't rust because it might back off itself and then your tire might fall out. So I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to show you exactly how to put it back on. Now if you wanted to, you could always do this way and put this tool on and put it in there manually and then turn it left lefty loosey unless otherwise specified on a bolt in your manual to take all these off as well so let me jack the car up and i'll show you how we do it so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of the lug nuts off by hand and show you how this actually works so we put this 
on the lug nut and lock it in place to make sure it's good. You don't want to strip this. If you strip this and you can't get the tire off, it's going to be very expensive and you might have to damage the rim to get it out. And we don't want to do that. So then it's under a little bit of force. That's why I like to use a longer bar. A longer bar will give you a little more leverage so you don't have to push as much. So then, uh, and then there it is. Well, I cracked it loose. And I'm just going to unscrew it, or we can take the bar off and use the just the socket and unscrew it like this. And there it is. Now I'm going to show you the other way. If you're fortunate to have one of these air guns and a compressor, you just put it on. Make sure it's locked on correctly and rip it right off. And that's how you take the tire off. Hey, welcome back everyone. We fast forward a little bit. I have all five of the lug nuts off. If you have a five lug car, you should be having five lug nuts. Some of these only have four holes and that's okay because that's what comes OEM on your vehicle. So once we take these off, sometimes this is a little bit of a booger to get off. You know, you can't get it. So I would take a rubber mallet and tap on the tire part. You don't want to tap on the rim because you might damage the rim. And these are very expensive rims. And that's why I'm taking them off for the winter so they don't get salt pitting on them. So if I'm going to save them, why would I hit the rim? So let's just give it a little, and there it is. We're going to roll the tire out of the way and I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath. Now your tire, your car might look like this with the studs hanging out, or if you have a German car, you see these studs that go inwards. That's what goes on the German car. But these are wheel spacers, which I have changed the um, the outside of the car. So instead of five by thirty, they're now uh, five by one twelve. So what that means is there's only this this these are thirty a piece apart, thirty millimeters or one thirty millimeters, and these are only one twelve. So this is a Porsche, but I can now with these wheel conversion kit run those nice Mercedes rims on them. They're aftermarket and Porsche rims are really expensive and these are only about $100, $200 for these. So then what we're going to do is now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our handy dandy tool here and put it on. I'm going to use this because fortunate enough to have one and I'm going to rip one off. So now we have a hole where the spacer is and we're going to take the spacer out. This is a Porsche lug nut. Kind of like this. This is usually like um, an American lug nut. Um, they use the inside where the nut and the stud is the same. You see how the stud sticks out? Well, this one doesn't stick out. It is the stud and the nut together. This is the special key. It looks a little different. You have to put this key on here. I don't like to rip them off with the, uh, with the gun with the key, but in this instance, I have to because you know, it's, um, so I put it, I use my most low setting gun and I barely tap it and it comes right out. I'm going to show you what it, the key looks like. So if you see the top of this right here, it looks different than this one, right? This one looks like it's got a hex, six sides, and this one has all this little funny bumps in it. So this matches this and goes in together. You just slide it around and there it meets. If you have it on wrong, it doesn't fit. Doesn't fit, doesn't fit. Slide it on, keep going. And there, it meets. Always put this on with your hands before you take a gun to take this off. If you have it on crooked, it will destroy these two pieces. Now, I'm gonna take the wheel spacer off because I just explained it that you take it off the same way as the tire. And then I'm gonna show you how to put the tire back on. And we'll fast forward in a second.
Okay, I took the wheel spacer off, but now I'm gonna explain it to you. So this is the wheel spacer. You can get some of these with the same bolt pattern just to make your wheels stick out a little farther. For aesthetics purposes, it doesn't really do anything to the vehicle. Um, but you can see a lot of your vehicles have a stud like this that comes out already. And this one, you see how it goes in? So instead of using this, this is what the regular rotor and, and piece looks like that your car will go in. We're going to put the rim back on and then we're going to put these directly through the rim and into the holes instead of putting a regular lug nut on, a stud, and screwing that on. Remember, every car is a little bit different. If you get a car from a different country, they might do things differently. Please always do your own due diligence. Read your instruction manual. The manual that comes with your car isn't a paperweight. It's to teach you a lot of things. Half of my clients could just read their manual and know how to do something without having to come here and pay me. You know so I'm gonna put the wheel back on and then I'm gonna show you how to tighten up the wheel and we'll be right back hey guys thanks for sticking around for the end of the video we just flash forwarded I put the rim on and I only put a couple of threads in here because um, I wanted to show you how to properly put the lug nuts on the tire. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever use this tool or any high powered um, electric or air compressed tool to put your lug nuts on. I know I've seen people do it, professionals do it, but it only takes that one time to do this too tight snap that inside and then you're screwed what are you gonna do how are you gonna get that out you know how you're not you're gonna bring it to me and then i'm gonna have to get my special extractor kit and use some big tools and rip it off and possibly damage your rim because you didn't listen take a couple of minutes and relax and do things properly this is a great tool to use if you use it properly now what I like to do is, I like to put them in hand tight first, I'm going to show you, I just screw them in, so that one's hand tight, and then you go to a star pattern, you never want to go around the circle because it could offset the rim, pinch this side closed first, and then you have the smallest little gap over here, and you're going to feel shake, or it's not going to run right, or it could possibly break the studs off, and ruin the rim as well. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. You want to make a star. It's called star pattern. So you do one and then you can go here or here. And then from this one, you could go here or here, but we already did that. So up, then I can't go across, right? I can only go down and then there's only one left to go across. So this one is the special lug. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever put the special lug on with the gun. So let's find where it meets up. You know, it's a little tricky, this little thing, sometimes. It doesn't want to exactly uh, fit because the lug is moving. So there it is. I got it on. And I'm just going to spin it by hand. Spin it by hand. By hand. By hand. Give it a little tight. And that's it. Now, I leave the, the special lug on here because when I put the tire down, it reminds me that you still have to tighten the again once you get the car down. There is torque specs for every one of these wheels. You should look in your owner's manual or online to see the torque spec for your particular rim. Once I get the car all the way down, I'm going to put this back on the breaker bar here and I'm going to give it an oomph. So like, you know, the Taparuski, tap, tap. Tap tap, gotta do it twice. This is a oomph. Uh, you know? You gotta make that stupid face too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we just kinda, whoa, look at that. It was still a little loose.
Now once I get it on the ground, I'm gonna give it one more snug to spec, and then we're good to go. Put all your tools away, wash your hands, and go get yourself a snack because you just accomplished how to change a tire the proper way with the proper tools. Hey, I'm Damien. Thank you for coming to Disturbing Creations. I love to educate people. I've been doing this for about 18 years since I was little. I've been working on cars. I've gone through a lot of experience and I wanna bring that to you so that you can learn because I'm a visual learner and you might be too. So subscribe to my channel because I'm always teaching a basic class. I'm rebuilding Porsches, rebuilding engines. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff. We're gonna start showing burnouts and races. Hey, check us out, Disturbing Creations. Tell your friends, I'm gonna be famous. You'll see me on TV. I love you all, God bless.